like I'm at the ocean. Except here, the waves are man-made. Hi, Jacob and Catherine. I'm Dr. Hoffman from Old Dominion University. Hi. Hi. This is a great place to do research. We've been wondering, what is a tide exactly? A tide is the regular rise and fall of the surface of the ocean due to the gravitational force of the sun and the moon on our Earth. We learned that gravity is a force that exists between all objects. And it makes objects fall to Earth. That's right. And the bigger the objects and the closer they are to one another, the stronger the gravitational attraction between them. The sun is much larger than the Earth and the moon, but a lot farther away from the Earth than the moon. So which one causes the tides? They both do, but the moon plays a bigger role, being about twice as strong as the sun. As the two of them create a gravitational force on the Earth's oceans, it causes the water to move upwards towards the sun and the moon. And the Earth's gravity holds the water down. Right, but the tidal forces pull water sideways along the surface of the Earth, and this tug of war creates a bulge in the surface of the ocean. If the moon's influence is stronger than the sun's, then is the bulge bigger beneath the moon? Yes, and due to the rotational motion of the Earth-Moon-Sun system, there is also a bulge on the opposite side of the Earth, away from the sun and the moon. These bulges of water are large waves that we call high tides. So if the water bulges on opposite sides, then it must draw water away from the area between the bulges. Very good, and that is where low tides occur. How often do we have high and low tides? Many coastal locations, such as the Atlantic and Pacific coast, experience two high and two low tides each day. But some areas, such as the Gulf of Mexico, only have one of each. Do the tides in a particular place always occur at the same time? No, but the answer is a little bit complicated. On average, high tides occur every 12 hours and 24 minutes. The Earth spins on its axis every 24 hours, so if you divide 24 by 2, you get 12. The extra 24 minutes is because of the moon's orbit about the Earth. Would high tides help bring objects floating in the water onto the shore? Tides do not typically have much of a role in transporting objects in the ocean. You can think of tides as a big sloshing motion where objects go as far in one direction as in the other. Here, let's check it out. That was cool, but what about the waves? Jacob, can you get in the pool? Can I? See the waves around Jacob? They look like they're moving the water forward, but actually they aren't. How is it that I stay in the same place? Each particle of water in a wave moves around in a circle. Energy moves forward while water particles remain in the same place, so an object floating on the water will rise and fall as the wave passes, but the object will not move forward. I think we definitely need more research about waves. Me too. Thanks, Dr. Hoffman. You're welcome. Enjoy the wave pool. You better stop researching the waves if you want to get there on time. Bianca does not like to be late.